Hey guys, Luke here, and we're back for another episode of The Boss. It's episode 12, and it's my crew mode to use. And uh, it's just the one game today. It's the semi final or preliminary final. I'm not sure what they call it in the A League. I suppose semi final is the right word. So you can see uh, Western Sydney or either Brisbane Raw will beat our next opponent should we beat Sydney FC. Now, I'm going to take you over the team lines in a second, but for us, worth mentioning that in the previous games, uh, the, the last game, which is in the last episode, or previous episode, we won 3 0. Uh, and then you go back to. Uh, the game before that was a 2-0 win, and then the very first uh, game was a 4-1 win. So, we've got the wood over them, and anything but a win here uh, is going to be a major disappointment. So, here's our team lineup. We've got Redmayne and Goal Hoffman, Willard, Kisnorbo, uh, Garuccio, I think it's... I don't know how to pronounce it. Then we've got Duff, who's returning. got Madoka, Moy, Ian Ramsey, Veer, and Williams. Although, it's worth noting that uh, Adam Campbell, uh, his loan is finished. Uh, I think maybe just because he's a short line, I don't know, maybe because the Premier League's finished, who knows. Uh, but the rest is still here. We've got Sydney FC, we've got Jantovic, uh, Bojic, um, got Pekovic, Ogonoski, Gozbach, Antonis, Grant, Abbasabini, Dimitrijevic, and then Brosk. Oh, sorry for pronunciations, I don't, don't, I don't know how to pronounce any of the Sydney FC players' names. They're all like, they all sound like Croatian and all that sort of stuff, so, you know, when they have like, for, for Sasha Austin, Ogonoski. <laughs> I can't even pronounce his name. Um, when they have the little thing over there, like the S, whatever, I don't know what sound that's supposed to make. Uh, so we go into the six minute. David Williams just splits the defence there, and he should have scored, really, really should have scored there. But we just played at the back, which is uh, the style that I like to do. I don't really like to just hit and hope, unless it's, you know, it's a last resort sort of thing. Um, but if we can play it through, that's what we'll do. Then Madoka hits, beats one. Uh, he's still got people chasing. He's around Pekovic. Just got to beat the keeper, which he does. And what a finish. What a goal. What a solo run from uh, Massimo Madoka. He's really stepped up since we accidentally sold Corrin. Uh, to be honest, he wouldn't have been my first choice centre mid. Uh, he would have been my second, like, my backup. But that's as good as he was ever going to be. I find him, he's my Jordan Henderson. Um, he seems like he's like a workhorse. I think he's got the engine trait from memory. Uh, he just seems to run everywhere and just turn up in defense, turn up in attack. And it's only his second goal uh, of the season, I believe. We'll get, have confirmation in a second. You can see him celebrating those graphics. Wow. Um, but yeah, just a, re a really, really nice goal from a docker. There's his second goal in the league, confirmed. The number eight. So uh, 14 minutes in, we're up 1-0. And I thought this clip was worth showing. Just the kind of pressure that I put on the opponents. Um, as you can see, we just... Just uh, circling him here, really forcing him into the corner, and that's what we've been doing all season, um, forcing quick turnovers um, in the midfield, which is exactly where you want it. We nearly forced a turnover just before there, and we got David Williams. Uh, I think that rule that um, roulette killed us right there. I was expecting that another player to come in a lot quicker, but they didn't end up coming in, so we did have roulette that yeah just killed the momentum. But not to worry, 30 minutes in, a little through ball over to Villa, and he scores. Uh, and that's just a really nice finish there. It was a finesse shot, if you couldn't tell. Um, really, I wasn't expecting that to go in. When I come in that angles, uh, at, at that stage when I was playing this, I was at the sort of mindset of like, how the hell do I score from here? Because they kept trying, they kept saving everything from uh, those angles. You can see it's a pretty poor attempt from the keeper, but like I said, our, our keeper's not the best either, Red Main. Um, apart from that one awesome save the last episode, um, the, the keepers, the lower rated keepers, they're going to concede those sort of goals. And David Villa, he does not mess around, especially his quality. He's an 82 rated at the moment. He went up by two in the last squad report last episode. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. So 2-0 up. 34th minute, we have David Villa on the ball again. We just ran out of chop before. four. We're cutting in and out. And we take on Pekovic. Villa's got enough pace to just get around him. And then the near post shot. And I think the near post shot is the way to go. Um... I didn't really think of it just before, but I watched a Dirty Mark video, and uh, he pointed it out, and I was like, yeah, you're right, I have scored a lot of near post goals. So, you see, David Villa has taken it just on his right foot. I'm not sure what actual foot here actually is, but um, another goal from Villa. That's that's his second of the second of the game. Obviously, when Doc, I got the first one in the 13th minute. But, yeah, really nice goal from Villa. Just, these goals have all been kind of solo goals. Um, well, so the Villa second, Villa second goal... One well, I mean, was kind of a, a team one, but that goal there, just a solo run, going in and out, Renato chopping everything. So Antones on the ball, he could have taken a shot, passes off to Jimmy, that's what I'm going to call him, so I don't know how to pronounce it. And he really should have finished that one. Could have made it 3-1, which would have made them a little bit better uh, at half time, but you can just look at our, our shot accuracy, 100%, just 
if you're shooting at 100% and your passing's up 80 plus, you're gonna win games. So they score here through a beanie, who I've listed down a few key players, and I should have mentioned them before, but I picked out a four, and it was Brosk, Abini, and Antonis. So obviously, uh, Antonis is um, probably one of Australia's better young players. I'm not sure um, how he's going to go now. He's had a few injuries, but he always was touted as being like the next big thing. Um, and then Abini, who's come across, I think he was playing in like Qatar or something like that before this season. Uh, he previously played at Central Coast and been there, and I expect him to go back there. But uh, as a few of the young Central Coast youngsters who were world beaters back in the day or a few years ago when the Central Coast team was dominant, um, they haven't returned. So, like, Rod Rodrick, um didn't return either. So, Abini's at Sydney and he's doing work, probably because Graham Arnold's back there. We've got Dave Veer, he beat one, he's beat another one. And he's just running in, he's got the keeper to beat, that's all he's got to do. Pick up his hat-trick, and then in the middle, I just noticed that, I think it was Ogonoski. He just trips over Williams, but he did that himself. Um, so yeah, that's his hat-trick. Third guard of Villa, and that's the sealer. As you can see, Ogonoski doing a little roll there. You might get a better angle of it just here, as we beat the keeper. And uh, to be fair, that goal there, in the previous ones, the keeper should have saved them. And I mean, you can argue he should have saved that one too, but I think... Does this good finish via um, too too much class for the Sydney FC side? So that's his 13th goal in the A League, and I think he's well on his way to getting the Golden Boot. So you can see we're making substitutions here, taking off uh, Damian Duff who hasn't played that many uh, minutes as of late. I think this is his first game back. Um, Villa's got his hat trick, so no need to keep him out there. And I forget who the last one was. I think it was Williams. But why why play these guys and risk injuries? We got the final coming up. It wasn't Williams, obviously. You can see him there. Uh, I forget who it was Moy probably. Um, yeah, so a victory to us there, 4-1. It was never in doubt, I don't think. If you look at the the previous results, they're all similar ones, 3-0, 2-0, 4-1. Uh, we won 4-1 once again, so you can go through and watch those other ones if you want. But David Villa picks up a 9.9, .9, so outstanding performance from him. And we're going to take on the Western Sydney Wanderers, as you can see. They must have beat Brisbane Raw. I'm not sure of the score, but... That's where we're going to leave it. Like, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, could you please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully we we'll see you for the grand final. See you guys. Bye.